pretty evident that it gets started once you have the right solution. Way in the back. What is your opinion of the movie Armageddon? <laughs> 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 it's a fair question since I brought up the whole attack. Yeah. Uh, I remember when Bruce Willis was making a movie out there at the NBL. I think it was really exciting. The good news is that you don't need Bruce Willis to never an ask for it. And Armageddon is just a fun sci-fi flick. And it's, it's, it's probably its only redeeming value is that it educates us all to the fact that Earth can be struck by our objects. And the good news is that to convert an asteroid, you don't need Bruce Willis to go in a nuclear weapon. All you need is a robot spacecraft. The simplest way to do it is just to park next to the asteroid with a two-ton spacecraft and sit there for a number of months. And just a tiny gravity uh, between those two objects will be enough to nudge a small asteroid in the direction of make it miss the Earth. You speed it up, you slow it down, and it doesn't arrive at the rendezvous, it misses the Earth. If you have to act a little bit more quickly or the object is larger, you run into it with a bullet, just like we did with Deep Impact back in 2005. You make a massive object, a spacecraft, run into that asteroid, transfer the momentum, again, change its velocity, and you miss the appointment with Earth. If it's a large object, now we're talking only one or two percent of the entire asteroid population, the least likely case, an object running into us might require a nuclear explosive to vaporize one side of the object and jet it in the other direction. But again, that's a very statistically small probability. For the vast majority of impacts that might occur on our planet that might affect us, we can do it with robots, and we can do it with 10 or 20 years of warning.